And in this video, I'm going to get the effects working. So imagine I want to put reverb on the kick. So I've got to have the kick up. And uh, I want the reverb to, to use mix 17, which is got to hit that button there to the 17 to 24. And it's going to be the first of one here. Mix 1 is becomes mix 17. And I'm going to turn it up to Unity, which I've done. And uh, so it's post, but I need to make it post fader. So I click on the button and I make it post fader. It's all defaulting to pre right now. So let's do all post. And that will put the kick drum on mix 17. Now let's get to the master of mix 17 and, and actually turn it up. So if you go down here and we pull up mix 17 and uh, I want to bring up mix 17's master. I'm going to turn it on because it's been goganized. And I'm going to name it verb. I think that's what the assignment requires. If it, whatever the assignment requires is what you got to do. And just to reiterate, I named it by clicking that little field right there and it brought up the naming window. So now I've got my master up. Let's actually go to the effects processors, click the rack. And you want to, you were on graphic EQ, but go to effect. And let's attach this verb, this aux n17 into the first processor. So click on that. And it's the top tab, top tab, whatever you want to call that. And it's mix 17 coming into it. And mix 17 is now going into the processor, which is defaulting to verb, to distortion. Let's make it a reverb. So click on it, click on the little icon, find the RevX plate. I believe that's the requirement. Close it. Let's take the outputs of that reverb and send it to channels 19 and 20. I think that's what the assignment says it is. So uh, I, this over here is the out patch. Click on that. I'm going to put that on channels 19. So I've got to select channels 1 through 32. Find 19. Oops, I didn't click the right one. Find 19. It's there. Hit the plus button. We'll move to the right side of the reverb output, which is 1B, and put that on 20. So it's now going to use channel. It's now returning to 19 and 20. So we go to the, the second layer down here, 17 through 32. Bring up 19 and 20, 7 to minus 20. And before we do that, let's actually link these returns. So whoop, channel job over here. Go back into our link, channel link, select 19 and 20. We'll go out of that channel job now. And now we've got 19, 20, we'll put it minus 20. And I'm gonna pan these. So uh, I'm a home key and pan the left one to the left side and the right one to the right side. That's pretty simple. And I turn them on, that's gonna help. And whatever the thing return requires you to name, I think it requires you to name them F, X, L, and R. So we have to name these inputs. To do that, select 19, go up to our patching page, and there's the name window. And clear, name it F, X, L. And I want to put space in there because that's, um, that's how I am. And let's uh, select the right side. F, X, clear, F, X, R. And your do it correctly. I'm typoing. Who cares? But you know how to do it. That's how you get your effects to be named and outputted. Excellent. Next video.